These are some of the parts required to make the conversion. This is the uh, starter motor mount, which actually fits onto the engine that way and provides a mounting point for the starter motor itself. That's the starter motor with the earth terminal, live terminal on it. My other item is the starter solenoid. There's numerous extra items required such as the start switch, um, choke solenoid, battery and uh, some battery leads. Essentially, if you're considering doing this conversion, you do need the uh, uh, voltage regulator system fitted. Mine's already fitted with it, but if not, you can pick them up on eBay quite cheaply. So here we go, starting on the uh, 25 horse engine again to fit the starter motor. And brackets are ready. That's a bracket you have to buy to do the conversion. And uh, that's the starter motor to go in. And at the moment I've slackened off the voltage regulator. Just about to put that wire in through and across to the other side. It just needs lifting through. I can't do it one-handed though, guys. Um, all you need for this game at the moment is a 10mm socket and uh, it'll be ready to fit. Well we were promised uh, fine weather today instead it's supposed to be no uh, rain and we've already got drizzle so another struggle on a nice winter's day next job is to fit the starter motor to the bracket one of the many things I dislike guys are these two long screw bolts which go through the filter housing and actually hold the carburetor on so any work you've got to do particularly this uh, bolt here which you can't get to because the air filter is in the way necessitates loosening the carburetor Well off camera I fitted the uh, starter motor to the bracket, note the orientation, the earth bolt and the live bolt facing, facing this way so that this can go in here. <laughs> this can go in here, <laughs> I'll laugh a minute I'm sure, I bet that thing has to come off. Yep. Can't. Nope. So it looks like this uh, casing has to come off, which appears to be two 10 millimeter bolts. I'll try. Uh, just slackening it to see what happens. Oh. <laughs> left the bolt in. That was to remind me which one it was.
think if I get this housing bolt in, that's it. Right. May not look great, guys, but uh, I'll try and. So I've just put that single housing bolt in just there, just to stabilise it. I had to slacken this bolt off here, and this one here on the cover. That allowed this portion where the starter motor pinion goes up uh, to just lift up enough because it's a very, very tight fit in the base. So uh, that's what we've done. So I'll just put the bolts in, and uh, I'll see whether that's an easy job I'll see whether that's an easy job or a difficult job. Right, that one's gone in. The housing bolts down this side have gone in. So guys, we just tighten these bolts up. Tighten the cover back up. So, that's those bolts. So we're now fully fastened. The bolt goes down in that one which I'll put somewhere but I'm sure I'll find it so okay guys I put the two bolts back into the air cleaner all the bolts are tightened up everything's tightened up obviously nothing's wired but at the moment I've got a jump lead on the earth tag and that goes down to the battery that will eventually go in the boat and uh, this is a test I shall pull the uh, safety cable off now this is just to test whether or not it uh, will turn The cable's pulling back. <laughs> Here we go. So there we go. So we've tested out the outboard and start a motor arrangement. So that's that part of it. A um, bit more to come yet. Okay, so turn the motor around the other way. One of the things I've got to find a new home for is the voltage regulator. The two green wires come from the 
alternator underneath there feed through to this and that's an auxiliary but it's an AC output so that's meant for things like um, anchor lights etc but on the voltage regulator is this little red wire and in this case it's got a blanking plug in it but that provides a charge current 12 volt I think actually 14 volt charge current for the battery so that eventually will have a lead connecting it up and it will go to the um, starter solenoid and I've got to find a place for that as well this is the starter solenoid earth cable and start to terminal those are the two terminals one goes to the battery the other obviously goes to the positive on the uh, starter motor down there and that red charge cable can come up and go to the same terminal as the battery you don't have to run it all the way back to the battery you run it to there that's connected to the battery so it'll charge it that way there's no connection between these until those connections are made to 12 volt I have to fit this somewhere I believe on the factory one it's fitted just about like that so I'll uh, see what I can do and find and take it from there guys so uh, I have here on my phone a page I will put that in the video but it shows the uh, physical layout for this uh, choke solenoid and also for the starter solenoid I did notice there are two slits here and apparently it's a u-shaped bracket with single bolt into there that goes just there can't quite get it right there like that and uh, that will then allow connection down underneath yeah yeah that allows connection down underneath then for the main battery cable and the connection out and come out I'm going to remove either remove this or in fact I think I'll remove this off here fit a large grommet um, it has a blank in it, grommet anyway like I say that's 12 volt AC um, so remove it from there and then bring the um, battery lead out uh, this I'm not quite sure on the choke unfortunately on this it just shows the choke up in mid-air uh, so I'll have to work that one out I know the choke ah right that one I think has to go up that way it that that small circle there has to go on to that bit there's the choke lever in fact it looks ah I wonder there we go there's a there's a separate uh, pin lighting's not very good I'll see if I can use my phone torch turned on there we go I don't know whether that makes it a bit better for you pop that just there And now you see what I'm talking about. That can go on there. Like that. And so there must be some way. Maybe that way up. I'll work it out. Anyway. I just wanted to see where we, where we stood with it. And uh, seem to have most of the details sorted out ah right we have 
two, one there and one there, bolt holes. Right, let me try and work this out. I wonder if that bracket has to be turned around on this. This is a second hand item guys. So, uh, yeah, that would work on that. If that bracket was turned around, yes. I think, I think I've cracked it on that bit. Same goes for that. I need a small piece of aluminium to go through the slits to be folded into a U shape with a hole in the center, which will then bolt through to that one. So that's where we stand at the moment. Um, wiring, etc. Well, that's another problem.